Hello everybody, Vergosity here today with some redstone basics. Today we have a kind of silly little contraption, but still useful nonetheless. This is a little item ice road launcher here. It's going to take the input from your hopper minecart. It's going to deposit it down into this little gully over here, that little hole, and then it's going to send those items swooping down this ice road into wherever you want to put them. I just have a hopper down there right now, but you could send them down to another level, send them up, send them over, whatever you wanted to do with them but this is what you need to do it let's check it out So a real quick demonstration on how this works, guys. Basically, the hopper minecart is going to come up and it's going to stop up here and whatever is in it is going to go into this hopper and then into this dropper. This dropper will then power the comparator, which will send a signal down to here, down to this sticky piston down here, which will push it up into the other observer and will cause an observer clock to fire and the dropper will fire all of its items down into this little chamber here. At the same time, that hopper minecart actually puts its items into this hopper first. So we're also going to get a signal back through this way into the sticky piston, which will then push out the observer. And as long as there's items in that hopper, this piston will be extended. Now what happens as soon as items are not in that hopper, then the dropper is just about empty too. So then what happens is this piston will retract, the observer will cause this signal to flow around here into this repeater, which will power this block and will power this sticky piston down here, which will push the slime block forward and send the items on its way. All also, the signal comes up to over here and will power this powered rail and will send the minecart back along its way now that it is empty. So real quick, we can actually just check it out here. I've got eight items in there. If we hit the button, you can see it heads right up to the top there. All of the items drop into there that fires and the minecart heads right back along its way and all of the items end up right down in this chest right there. Perfect for you. Let's go ahead and see how to build this, guys. Here is the material list we're going to need. We're going to need a dropper, we're going to need three observers, two sticky pistons, three repeaters, two comparators, a couple dust, hopper, slime block, four glazed terracotta, and 25 packed or blue ice. 25 is the most distance that the slime block will actually push it, so don't go any farther than that. We're going to need a handful of building blocks, and then this will be your drop-off system, the minecart with a hopper, a few powered rails, a regular rail, and a lever to fire those powered rails. And then this is the collection system that I have down at the end, but you can do whatever you want down there. I'm just having a hopper going to a chest right now. So let's go ahead and break this, grab everything, and get to building it. So we're going to be building this up in a 5x5 five five area, 5 wide, 5 back, and actually 5 tall, but only because this block is buried here. And there's just a single block on the top here, but we need that to stop the minecart from going flying off. So get yourself your glazed terracotta, guys, and right in the middle of the 5x5 five five area, and this is the front of the machine, we're going to drop down that piece of glazed terracotta. We're going to put one to the right, one to the left, and then one around behind it like that. Now get yourself out some building blocks, and from that buried glazed terracotta, go up one, two, three. Break out those two down there, then come down to the bottom, duck down, and put a dropper, and make sure it's facing down into that block right there. Now let's stay right here, and from this buried glazed terracotta block, let's go back one, and then on the second one, put a sticky piston facing up. Now break this block out down there. Make sure you break that block out, otherwise the slime block will stick to it, and the whole contraption will not work. Put a slime block right there. Now let's build the clock for the dropper. Let's do a comparator off to the side of the dropper here and that's going to pull the signal and we're going to send that signal into a building block and then under that building block we're going to put a piece of redstone dust we're going to break out this block here and replace it with a sticky piston facing up now let's take an observer and we're going to place the observer right on top of the sticky piston come around to the other side of the contraption and right between that observer and the sticky piston, place another piece of glazed terracotta. Then get one more observer and place it on top of that glazed terracotta. And that is our clock all installed so far. Now we can work on the pusher mechanism. So get yourself a hopper and put it right into the side of the dropper just like that. Now grab yourself a comparator. That's going to go there. We're going to need another building block with a repeater on top of it. And then a sticky piston coming out of the back of that repeater just like that. From this side, you're going to want to grab an observer and place it there. Then you're going to want to do a building block out the back of the observer and then one kitty corner next to that sticky piston there. Get yourself a repeater. Place it on two ticks. Get yourself another building block. 
place it on top of the piston in one more building block. Uh, but this one needs to be glazed terracotta right on top of the slime block, just like that. Now we need to do a piece of redstone dust, a repeater set on four ticks, and then one more building block to transfer the signal to the powered rail. And now we're going to work on the drop-off system for the hopper minecart. Grab yourself your building blocks and put one into the side of the hopper and then one down on the ground like that. Powered rail, one on top, one on the hopper, regular rail, one there, one there. Now you can break out this top rail and replace it with a regular block. Make sure you do that so the minecart won't go falling off and make sure the rail stays in that formation like that. Take your powered rail again, go one, two. Grab yourself that lever that we had brought along before and flick it right there to give power to that rail. And then this is going to be your input and this can go wherever you want. And guys, that should be it. Let's give it a quick test here. No, you know what we should do? We should throw down some ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ice needs to go right out the front here. And if you're worried about a little bit of a loss and items falling off, because that happens a little bit with this, not too often, but I would just say put up a nice row of glass right next to it there, and then that should eliminate the problem pretty much for you. So let's go ahead and throw a bunch of stuff into this hopper minecart. Let's do that many items. Let's give it a little push. Up there it goes, everything comes firing out of the little dropper right there. We see it all go launching into space. Awesome, guys. Thank you guys for checking this out. Remember to give a sub and ring that bell. So you'll always know when I have a new video coming out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.